Here today we are going to fix the skateboard side of the screen printing because a couple weeks ago I did a skateboard but I didn't post it anywhere because it was off-centered and up too far on the nose of the skateboard. So here's the skateboard. So when I screen printed it the graphic was way up here and it went down when the graphic should have been in the middle of these bolts where the trucks go it started should have started right here and went down and ended up down here somewhere but it ended up way up here and stopped right here and now we're going to adjust the board and we have uh the board is made out of metal so we have to unscrew it and i got it from jolly roger skateboards i forget what city and state they are in but they helped me out they uh, manufacture and make these skateboard presses for screen printing. So, let's show you how to do it. I got this set. Okay, now we gotta put this thing down here like this. Because last time, here's the screen that we're using. This humongous big graphic that I figured out how to make it work on the screen on the, for the skateboards. But for the screen printing on skateboards, you need to use 305 mesh. And whoever makes your screens or you need to go get a specialty screen made so there's flex in the screen you see that flex in the screen where I can just push it and that's so when you put it on you line it up and you put it on you, and say this is oh we gotta lock this one down right here so it don't move on us okay and we're in there and you can hold it down like this while you screen print so it goes in the shape of the concave of the skateboards or what are what are of what shape you like of the concave that you prefer you can get it down and it goes down there perfect and that's what we're making it right now we're going to make it perfect so every single every single skateboard is the same basically almost that's the that is the difference between screen printing skateboards and doing the heat transfer with the rollers on the skateboards. One, screen printing ink, I use water-based ink. So you put water-based or you can use oil-based ink, but this screen and this mesh is made for water-based ink only. Because that's what I figured out how to use. And the reason why you want to use ink, I prefer using a screen printed skateboard other than a heat transfer skateboard is because the ink, when you board slide or tail slide, no slide, whatever, slide on the bottom of the board, ink rubs into the wood so it makes it more, so it's slicker. And then the difference between the heat transfer, when they put the heat transfer sheet on the board and roll it through the rollers first, First of all, the heat press to the skateboard makes the skateboard weaker and that transfer stuff in the long run, it doesn't grind into the board, it doesn't seep into the board, it starts flaking and chipping. So that's the reason why I preferred screen printed skateboards over the heat transferred with the rollers with the skateboards. You see where this edge is at? Yeah, it's way off. It's off, okay. So is this. We need to move it over. We okay. need to move the board over because we can't go by a center mark. You see what I'm saying? Here's the center of your of your screen. I'm gonna do it this way. No. Right. Four and a quarter. Four and a quarter. We have to remember, well, if I make that stick for this only, yeah, I'll make it so it sits down here and butts here. So when we do it, so we have to tighten it up. This right here might go down a little bit over the holes, but that is okay. If this goes over the holes a little bit, that is fine. Okay. I just, just don't. 
I just don't want this part, the main attraction, to be. I don't know if I'm going to, I might have to do it by hand. Cut it out? I would get it out with a scale saw part of it. Here's what a skateboard thing, board, looks like. Again, like I said, I bought this from Jolly Roger Skateboards. Um, they're really cool people. I bought it a couple of years, a year ago? A couple of years ago. I've made my money back on what I've paid for this thing. I think this thing cost about 200 bucks. I made my money back on selling skateboards. But the way this thing works is they are there's little holes I mean not holes but things right here on this end and on this end to put your skateboard then if you have a longer wheelbase skateboard or old like a cruiser board or old school board there's a thing on here that moves this up and down slides it back and forth and it has a lock down here that I'm locking it just like so you got that back pretty far actually Just, but this needs to be. See, you're not all the way back. That's the thing. You don't. We gotta push it off. This one's all the way back. No, it's not. I can see it. This is not all the way back. I can stick my finger in see there. See here. Stick okay. Stick my finger in there. I said this one is all the way back. bit over okay tighten it down I hold it right there I put the sticker on there so we know that one's for the skateboard you see Okay, like I was saying, I have 10,000 talents, but reading your guys' mind is not one of them. So that's why I needed you guys to leave your feedback and drop a comment down below and tell me what types of graphics you guys are into. Because I'm into skeleton skulls and tattoo stuff like this one. Here's another screen made for skateboards you know it's like a tattoo design because I have a lot of tattoos on my arms I don't know if you can see it but it's a a skeleton skull with a dagger going through its eye and a snake and stuff I also have this one that's on this skateboard it's a like a Viking with two double bladed axes and the reason why I did that is because I'm 50% Norwegian. We need to know what kind of graphics you guys are into because that's what I'm I'm I want to do. I want to do graphics that people are into. Like I I'll, I'll do graphics that I'm into. It'd be cool that if somebody's into what I'm into, but 
some people are not in the skulls and skeletons and daggers and all that stuff like I'm into. But that's what we need to know. So again, I want to say thank you for everybody that supported me with the subscribes. With the subscribes. Subscribers. 181, it's amazing. Like, I know that's not a lot, but it's a lot to me because I really didn't think people would be interested in like what we're doing out here but you guys are interested in what I'm doing out here so again we need your input of graphic ideas like if you have like a graphic like a picture or something that you think would be dope on a skateboard I'll put my email link down below and you can e uh, put it on the screen and I'll put it down below and you can email it to me and I can play with it and put it on a skateboard and we can collaborate crusaders with whoever so this is what we're doing we're doing our own thing so don't let nobody try to tell you what to do with your life live your life to the fullest that you possibly can you know don't be a lemmings if you know what a lemmings is it's an old school game for the mac basically if one lemmings decide okay lemmings is like these little things and if you decide they gotta go out this tunnel and go underground and try to get outside but there's all these weird mazes and if one lem lemmings goes the wrong way and ends up going off the cliff all the lemmings end up going off the cliff so basically don't be a follower do your own thing live your life your own way you know be positive thank you for watching and we'll be back with more videos here soon breakfast in bed. Are you done yet? <laughs>